Over time, cars tend to become better in almost every way, except when they don't. The 2017 Ford GT will assuredly outdo its predecessor in terms of performance, in part due to packing at least 50 more horsepower, but it doesn't do any better at the fuel pump. The EPA rates the new GT at 14 miles per gallon overall, with an 11 miles per gallon rating for the city, and 18 miles per gallon for the highway. The 12-year-old GT from 2005 got the same overall MPG, and actually managed 1 mile per gallon better ratings for the city and highway. The new GT's fuel economy number also means it will likely garner a gas guzzler tax of $2,600. However, this tax could also be more or less, since the government uses unadjusted ratings that differ from the EPA numbers seen on Monroney stickers. The new GT looks even thirstier when comparing it with its mid-engine rivals. The McLaren 570S, Ferrari 488 GTB, and Lamborghini Huracan, all top the American supercar in almost every fuel economy measure. All three managed to top 20 miles per gallon on the highway, with the Lambo bringing up the rear with 21 miles per gallon, and the McLaren coming out ahead with 23 miles per gallon. The lead extends to city mileage, too, with the McLaren leading the charge again with 16 miles per gallon, and the Lamborghini falling to the bottom with 14 miles per gallon. And it's worth noting that two of these cars use turbocharged V8S and one naturally aspirated V10. With that being said, no one that buys these cars truly cares about fuel economy. These cars are built to perform and look good doing it, not to sip.